Hi. So, a new day beckons. I have done everything I need to do today. I uh, noticed now by looking through that pile of chilies that uh, the the one I ate yesterday had actually two more of the same sort and they are also very huge, but I will I'm I'm going to save them for uh, another another day. Mm, perhaps eat them just if uh, if I get something that's not so not so hot. Mm, but um let's see what we have here. Um I have I forgotten uh, I have my list here. I have an yes. This one, freedom it's called. It should be I think it says I can't remember entirely what the uh, uh, what it's across from uh, but it said that if it's um, uh, done pro properly it could be the range of the Scoville around 2 million it says on the on the internets oh, sorry uh, I'm not sure what I think about 2 million I don't think uh, I don't my tolerance is Tolerance is quite high. I don't think I would put two million Scoville units in a chili in my mouth and uh, sit and talk casually as I do. Uh, not more chilies. So they are, or I, I, I don't know the science behind it, but it seems like the different colors. Uh, and the different raw oils the t maybe the testing is not uh, as efficient as it should be or that it tests differently on different types of chilies or or if there's just something we haven't understood about how how the heat comes uh, anyways uh, but I would range most uh, uh, the super hots that I eat to be around 1 million maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less but I could be wrong who knows I'm not scientist on anything and sure it's not I only have some experience and I'm not gonna trust my gut feelings too much because it has its way to, to fool me and trick me just so, so that I can feel smart, uh, but uh, I'm not stupid, but I'm not a scientist. Anyways, that's three minutes of me blabbing on about something you probably don't care about anyways. So I'm gonna do what we all came here for and eat this freedom chili. It will not give me freedom from pain, but it will Hopefully test <coughs> pretty nicely. Mm. Oh. It's hot. The heat is a little bit more stubby, a bit more vicious. Not so pleasant. Mm. Flavor wise, first of all, uh, the texture of this chili while chewing it is not my favorite texture. It's a bit on the, it's like the, the flesh of the chili is a bit on the dry side, so it's not so juicy, but it has the oils because it's very hot, very, very hot. Mm. 
it's attacking my tongue quite good now. Not so much uh, throat, but I can feel it also in my throat. So it's probably gonna <coughs> start feeling more there soonish. Mm. I'm sitting like this with my hands, meaning it's quite hot. Uh, it had the kind of sweet, uh, fruity flavor right as I started chewing it, but it went away pretty quickly <coughs> and was swapped with some bittery feeling. I've been getting that quite a lot from the chilies lately, especially the, the red ones. That could be just my palate tricking me. <clears throat> the heat on this is quite, uh, quite good. It's quite good. I could probably eat more but I would suffer quite a lot from the type of heat I'm getting here. <coughs> Some snot for a <coughs> uh, This uh, pod was also from Nordic Chile, by the way. Christian Haraldsen, thank you so much. Uh, Even though uh, not all chilies I eat are like my favorite uh, flavor or texture, I nevertheless appreciate greatly having to taste them so that I can taste them and uh, get more experience in um, more different varieties of uh, chilies, which I uh, like. This has peaked. It's on its way down. <coughs> Probably will feel it in my stomach later. <laughs> yeah. It was a good... Uh, Good experience, I would say. <clears throat> it was a different burn than the one yesterday. I like the burn from the one yesterday more because it's like... I'm, I'm not good at explaining the differences in the burns, I feel. But uh, like the one yesterday is more like a, a very warm, warm and it gets very, very warm. Uh, but this is more like a stabby, like just like my uh, tongue is getting uh, or my mouth is getting attacked by something that stabs it and tries to hurt it. <clears throat> but yeah, it's already it's, it's it peaked a lot quicker than the one yesterday. It's probably going to go down faster because it's already quite. I can feel it in my going down already. Yeah, day two. I have uh, many, many days in front of me eating chili, so you will get uh, actually today. I, give me one second. Uh, it's going to be some days because this is. Look at this. It's black. I've seen many chili videos. Perhaps I've forgotten, but I didn't know you could get black chilies. Uh, 16, let's see what, what's it called. Alien Metamorphous Black. Okay, it's, it said black, so huh, yeah. <clears throat> but it's, I'm looking forward to it. I've only eaten one mm, type of uh, chocolate primitale yet, 
which is the one uh, that Torger Steinberg gave me or sent me. And uh, that I took the seeds and planted, and I have gotten quite a lot of those in the summer and eaten them. Uh, they are very, very hot, but I have one or two huge ones here that are sent from uh, from Haraldsen, from Nordic City. And I'm very much looking forward to eating these and comparing, because that's fun. At least it's fun when I'm not doing it, but uh, yeah, it's fun to think about, it's fun to look forward to, and it's fun to remember when the pain is over. That's all I think for today. It's 11 minutes very soon. Thank you again. Uh, Share, like, subscribe if you want. I appreciate that a lot. Um, have a lovely day, evening, morning, a week, weekend, Christmas, summer, Easter, fall, all that jazz. Remember, uh, it's not always easy, but it's probably always best to to let bygones be bygones and uh, just get over stuff and move on and um, be kind and respectful to each other it's uh, it's not stealing your energy and putting it in, into something not worth putting into wise words from uh, the, the snot king himself have a lovely day